So, uh, joining us now, we have a very special call-in guest. Uh, he is a senior writer for Newsweek, MSNBC contributor, contributing editor to Vanity Fair, and New York Times bestselling author. You already know who it is. The king of always having a normal one online, Kurt Eichenwald. Kurt, how's it going? Okay. Okay. Well, first, I want to correct you there. This has already started. Okay, this has already started. You've already started in uh, with these right-wing narratives uh, about who I am and what I do. Um, first of all, I am a senior contributor to Vanity Fair. I am a senior writer at Newsweek, and I am a contributing contributor at MSNBC and a New York Times best-selling author. So you, know, you can correct you can correct that record right there, and then we can proceed. These tricks aren't going to work, okay? Okay? Uh, so, Kurt, um, you're having a, another another really good week online. Like I said, staying normal, staying regular <laughs> all the time online. Uh, could you just, just fill us in a little bit. What's going on with uh, these emails you're sending Ben Shapiro about the Parkland teens? Okay, I want to I clear the record first of all. I didn't send any emails. Emails were sent by me in order to correct a vicious right-wing smear campaign from the Parkland High School victim, acting in concert with other right-wing actors. And I want to make something very, very clear to you. This was a routine, day-long Twitter site that I got in. This is one of my routine, if you've heard of a routine traffic stop, this is a routine, day-long, 48-hour Twitter fight. Nothing out of the ordinary. What happened was that um, Ben Shapiro and um, some of these Parkland students, underage students from Parkland, decided to team up and accuse me of being a fan of tentacle porn. I assure you, I've only ever researched tentacle porn in order to expose tentacle porn. You were exposing it to your family uh, in this case, right, Kurt? I have, ex now I see you're trying to trick me. I know what's happening. That, Will, that's pretty clever there. You're trying to trick me into saying I exposed myself to my family with tentacle porn. That's far from the truth. Everything was consensual and everything. We, I have affidavits to prove this. And if you're going to keep lying, I want to make something very clear. This entire podcast is being recorded in real time by a court reporter in Dallas for a grand jury that has been convened. Uh, to issue subpoenas and indictments related to my Twitter fight. I am very serious about this. No, we, yeah, you, you take online very seriously, Kurt, and, you know, we, we respect that. Uh, I just want get, to get to the issue here. People have been making fun of you because of this, this, this hentai tentacle porn issue for a while now, and, I, I, you know, we just want to get to the bottom of it. Let's be something very clear. Like millions of Americans, like about 75 million Americans, I have ironically dabbled in hentai tentacle porn. And this is, this is a well-known fact. Will, this is a well-known fact, if you will. All you need to do is log on to any number of mainstream, ten ironic tentacle porn websites. I'm a moderator myself on a number of them. Uh, of course, I am a moderator on uh, 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 Captain Nemo versus the Hentai. I, I am um, I, I am the only moderator, of course, on Calamari Hot Mommy. <laughs> dot org um this is normal these are these are job holding community members who engage in this sort of ironic uh uh, uh family time i'm in on the joke i have I, ha I have engaged to the point of completion with tentacle porn in order to debunk tentacle porn <laughs> this is very simple millions of america have engaged in this ironic pastime uh and if you disagree if i detect laughter it is directed at me instead of with me in this matter, you will be hearing from the grand jury that has been convened. Why do you think... Uh, if, you, if you proceed, if you proceed with this line of questioning further, and if anyone listening to your podcast laughs at this, you too will receive a subpoena. I swear to God. I swear to the eight-tentacled God. 
and I'm just getting noticed here on one of my burner phones used primarily for Twitter fights. I'm getting a notice here that I've been removed as a Vanity Fair contributing senior contributor editor. So we're going to, I'm just going to just, I'm just, that's just wiping off of my, my um, <coughs> list of credentials. So I'm no longer associated with Vanity Fair. That's no problem. I, I've heard that the New York Times uh, might actually revise downward your sales numbers and uh, remove you from the, the list of best selling authors there. Just a heads up. Uh, yes. Um, I actually, you're, this is a valid point. <laughs> this is a valid point. Now, this is, I'm, 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 you're, you're bringing it up from a place of mockery, which is going to get you, uh, and which, and which chapo, I'm sorry, which chapo? Uh, this is, uh, Matt. Ma- uh, Matt Chrisman. You've been served. I want to <laughs> let you know that you've been served. That's, that's, I, uh, that's, uh, you've officially been podcast served. Uh, you've been served for my audio grand jury. Um, you will be going to prison, sir. Um, <laughs> However, yes, I am finding out that that yeah, I'm, we're finding out that not only have I been let go from Newsweek, fuck them, never needed them, <laughs> fuck Newsweek, and uh, we're also saying now um, MSNBC has MSNBC has let me go from four out of five of their letters, so I am now merely an S contributor. <laughs> Did you become a moderator on this site as part of your research for an article, or is this just more irony? Just for a simple example, I want to just pull it up here for you. I'm just I'm I'm going to Firefox. I'm just going to some of the open tabs that I just have. Just some simple open tabs that any American writer might have on their on their Firefox browser on the laptop. Uh, here's a simple. I'm just scrolling through my tabs. Uh, 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 Bernie would have started uh, Stalinist concentration camps. That's just something I'm working on. Bernie, 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 Bernie uh, screaming about Bernie, and it's a tentacle. Here, this is a good one. This is a perfect one. This is this is um this is Calamar, Calamari Hot Mama, and I'm logged in, and I'm just going to bring up just the first page, just a simple first page, just to debunk this this um antiphobia that you are uh, 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 trying to inflict on the ironic community. And I'm just going to put this very simple hint. I... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and th- there is some ironic stimulation. <laughs> I've never been so stimulated in my life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, former contributor to Vanity Fair, Newsweek, MSNBC, and former New York Times bestselling author, Kurt Eichenwald, everybody. If I could just um, interrupt you, um, Will, this is Kurt's wife. Um, I am now speaking to you from his podcast office. Um, this is Kurt Eichenwald's wife. All, you will all anyone who has participated in this will be served with papers. The police have your last uh, imprint, and we will we'll be coming after you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mrs. Eichenwald. Uh, I hope Kurt's. <laughs> Oh, I'm not